I've been waiting for these for a long time. Grandeurs, Tribal Blue, Tribal Intense, and another one we're gonna be talking about. Here's some codes to save you some cash on your next Middle Eastern niche or designer fragrances. What's going on guys? My name is Neeb. Welcome back to Aromatics. Today we're gonna be talking about new releases by Grandeur. Al Watania and Grandeur are sister companies to each other and they release a lot of bangers. Forgive me, I actually have to remake this video. I had some file issues and uh, I got rid of the, the boxes for these. They look like tin, okay? They look like tins. Can you make out? Can you make it out? I mean, make it out yourself, man. So let's go ahead and get started with the first one. It's called Tribal Blue by Grandeur Elite. Now, Grandeur does have sub-branch, etc., like very other uh, similar family fragrances like Latafa, Fragrance World, Adul Al Alam, F.A. Paris. There's Grandeur, there's Grandeur Elite, there's Wataniya, there's also Wataniya Pride or something like that. There, there's certain tiers. So Grandeur Elite is actually a pretty higher-end tier, and these are usually for around $45 or less, and they're actually pretty damn good, okay? So we're all talking about everything here is Grandeur Elite. So not Grandeur, but the Elite version. So Tribal Blue looks exactly like uh, Tribal Intense in terms of the bottle style in itself. But the color gradients are a little bit different and the color gradients make sense in terms of the scent profile, okay? So this fragrance will remind you of other fragrances that are very similar to this in uh, gradient, etc., like Ultramol, the whole, you know, Le Mal, Ultramol style DNA. Obviously, this is a very similar color gradient and scent profile. So this definitely reminds me of that. And I remember thinking when I was in the uh, convention, a a initial impression, wow, this is like, how does this compare to 9 p.m.? The opening, much more like designer quality. Reminds me much more of that DNA than even 9 p.m. So when I initially sniffed this, I was like blown away because this is like legitimately, you took a designer fragrance and you sprayed it on and that's how good it was. So I was pretty hyped for this one. And uh, it stays pretty true. That's still the case in terms of how it does, etc. Except this is one where I discovered a little bit more as I started to wear it for the dry down, etc. Now, I don't really have anything too bad to say about this fragrance. It sounds like I may just set, set this up for like, you know, here comes the downhill. No, but there are a couple of differences that we're gonna note here between this one and other DNAs like Ultramol. This fragrance really focuses on the pear, the mint, the lavender. You're gonna get a lot of that very familiar DNA in the opening, but as this one starts to dry down is where this one kind of goes in its own route a little bit. So it retains a lot of that top to mid without ever really going into an ambery vanilla base. So the fragrance really holds on to all of those lighter notes, kind of wearing a little bit easier as well. And when I say easier, I mean in terms of versatility. So this is a fragrance that really holds on to the lavender, mint, pear, etc. without ever going towards that very signature bubble gummy clubbing style DNA. It's something that does project, just like I said, it's not as sweet. So it's still a good performing fragrance, gives me about seven hours, especially I sprayed this on about eight to nine times, and it's really solid. You can smell it projecting the entire time. It's just not gonna go as sweet. Uh, with that being said, a lot of people are probably gonna be asking, well, how does it compare to 9 p.m.? Well, 9 p.m., I find it to be a little bit more of a twist on that style fragrance as well. I find it to be lesser on the opening and more on the dry down of something that's ambery, vanillic, uh, definitely goes more bubblegummy sweet and musky. It does have that lavender as well, but it doesn't have the same aspects to the top of the fragrance, and this one does. So it's kind of like you either want the top to mid or do you want the mid to base? That's basically what I feel like with both of the fragrances, like 9 p.m. versus this, it's gonna be top to mid, this, and mid to base, 9 p.m. Basically, that's what it is for me. For me personally, I love the opening of the fragrance. I genuinely do. And sometimes I feel like the dry down might get a little bit cloying later on or if you overspray it, but really, it's, I mean, it's a toss up. 9 p.m. is great, but I really, this is first impression, it takes me, like it takes the cake. With first impressions, Tribal Blue is excellent fragrance. It's an excellent fragrance. And honestly, the fact that it ditches that ambery patchouli and sweet vanilla makes it a little bit more versatile, meaning that you can wear it into uh, many more occasions than you would wear something like 9 p.m. or Ultramol, etc. So because of everything that I mentioned, the occasions for this fragrance is going to be a little bit more than the two aforementioned fragrances. You could definitely wear this one to school, maybe the office, and even to the gym. I would just say go light if you're going to the office just to kind of test it out first, okay? And the price point for something like this for under 40 bucks, $35, it's absolutely worth it. It'll still remind you of that DNA and the quality of this is absolutely phenomenal. It's designer quality easily. It just kind of does its own thing after the first hour or two, or not really does its own 
own thing. It just doesn't change after the first hour or two. But that's even the case with 9 p.m. You're gonna get something that's, you know, so keep your expectations real, basically. You're not getting one fragrance. Obviously, you're getting tribal blue. If you want a certain fragrance, get a certain fragrance. The difference is definitely there, but it's respectable. It's definitely respectable. And ultimately, it does not smell cheap. That's what I'm after, personally. And if you asked me which one would you wear over the other, I would wear tribal blue. I like the effervescence. I like the light nature of it. I like the fact that I get a lot of more, a lot more accords. It's not as musked out. It's not as just like covered in a blanket of sweets uh, like other fragrances. 9 p.m. is still really good. It's still really good. I would just probably wear that for like uh, nighttime or just want to smell like, you know, musky sweetness. It's still really, really good. But this one would be my choice over that because you can get more accords. That's basically what it is. Or I'd wear them both. I'd probably wear this during the day and uh, 9 p.m. during the night. So if I had to rank this one, I would probably give it around an 85 to a 90 percent. Actually, it's like 90 percent. Uh, and as it starts to dry down, I would give it back down to about 85 to maybe even 80 percent as it starts to dry down. OK, so there you go. Moving on to Tribal Intense. This is also very, very good. <laughs> I really like this DNA. In fact, a couple of fragrances that I'm reminded of with these that I'm very, very fond of include Le Beau, uh, the Le Parfum, Ultra Mall as well, and like top three would also be uh, Le Mall Elixir. And with Tribal Intense, I definitely get those vibes. And what this fragrance is basically centered around is the note of coconut, except much more than just that. It's ambery, it's coconutty, it's creamy woods. It's beautiful stuff, man. Opens up powdery, but fresh at the same time. Starts off woody from the top to the dry down, also creamy from the top to the dry down, and sweet from the top to the dry down. So like I said, this is a very similar case though. It starts off a little bit fresher. It doesn't necessarily go as ambery or as vanillic as uh, another similar fragrance that's doing this style of DNA, but it still captures like the beginning, okay? So in that sense, if I were to give this fragrance a rating, I would give it about also an 80 to an 85%. So I actually favored this one a little bit more uh, than Tribal Intense, where I gave this one an 85 to a 90%, I'm giving this one an 80 to an 85%. It's not nearly as ambery, but I personally like it more than a Mason Alhambra fragrance that uh, does a very similar note breakdown with the whole coconut, amber, vanilla, etc. This, in my opinion, smells better and it just seems stronger overall. I get the coconut, I get the accords, the quality of the fragrance is absolutely there. The iris, the pineapple, I get them all. The cypress, it just seems a little bit more lighter and airy. That's pretty much it. And for that reason, I'm rating it an 80 to an 85%. And that's pretty much all I have to say about this one. In terms of longevity, this one gave me about six hours. I will say though that these are fresh. You guys, these are fresh fragrances. And what that basically means is that these are likely to get stronger as they mature. Set them aside for about three weeks, revisit, and see whether or not it gets stronger. And for the most part, I would say about 80% of my fragrances, including designers. Moving on to the last fragrance, this is called Voyage Exclusive. All right, so this is a fragrance that centers around smoke, incense, uh, saffron, raspberry, and some root. A very signature style DNA that's pretty popular nowadays, except it's pretty toned down. So if you're one that really wants to start treading into uh, this medicinal inky style of oud fragrance that's very popular and a lot of people are actually raving about, then you should definitely consider this one. I think that this one is totally down, it's not necessarily a light fragrance. It's not gonna give you beastly performance, but it is gonna last for like eight to nine hours. That oud, that incense, it's gonna linger on your clothing pretty much all day. And this one actually reminds me of Ombre Nomad. So if you like fragrances like that, this is going to remind you of that family of fragrances. Except like I said, this is a bit softer on everything else. Obviously the quality of something like that is going to be through the roof, but with this one, it definitely seems a little bit more toned down. I will say that most of the accords are absolutely there, but if you're looking for something that's a bit reserved, inky, oudi, etc., you're absolutely gonna be happy with this. And occasions for this fragrance, I would personally wear this every single day. Because of the fact that it's tame, it's not necessarily as in your face, and I like dry, woody fragrances, and I can wear them every day, at least that's what I believe, you know? But with that being said, more appropriately would probably be special occasions, because it does smell more expensive, okay? And that's pretty much all I have to say about Voyage Exclusive. Tribal Blue and Tribal Intense, they're definitely gonna remind you of Ultramol style DNA, and Voyage Exclusive, a great tame oud fragrance on the market today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button. Till the next video, peace.